Welcome to Chapter 3, Episode 7. I'm Heather Price. I'm going to be your teacher today. And this is Joanna. She is going to be the student today. So welcome back. This is RH Discovery Lesson 38. And if you're an Elevate student, this is Lesson 40. So today we are going to be learning the three sounds of ED. If this is your first time joining us, you might need a few supplies to gather really quickly for dictation. If you don't have an Expo marker and eraser, a paper and pencil will be just fine. All right, so we are ready to review. So Joanna has been teaching you how to add a suffix to phonetic skill one and two over the last few lessons. So today we're going to talk about voiced and voiceless letters. In chapter two, we learned that the digraph TH could either be voiced or voiceless. But today we're gonna to talk about other letters that are voiced and voiceless. So I want you to, Joanna, put your fingers on the front of your throat and I want you to make the sound for the consonant B. <laughs> did you feel a vibration in your throat when you did that? I did. You did. So when you have a vibration, we say that's a voiced sound. All right, let's do it again for another letter. Put your fingers on the front of your throat and I want you to make the sound for the letter P. Did you feel any vibration that, that time? No. no. So we say that that is a voiceless letter. All right, you understand the difference between voice and voiceless. On voice, I use my throat. On voiceless, I use my mouth. So we're gonna do an activity. And on your board, I want you to make a T-chart. One is a voice side, we're gonna show vibration. And the other side is a straight line and that's the voiceless side. So you get your board ready and I am going to get our activity pulled up. So this is on RH Discovery students. You can actually go into here under the vocabulary tab and the ABC at the bottom and you can um, do this for yourself. So we're going to look at, this is my little anatomy man and I can actually see inside of his mouth and inside of his throat to see uh, if he's using his mouth to make the sound or if he's using his throat to make that sound. So let's start with the vowel A and I want you to see what happens in his throat when he makes the sound A. Ready? Ah, ah. What was happening? Were you getting a straight line or a vibrating line, Joanna? It was vibrating. It was vibrating. So we say that that's a voiced sound. So I want you to write the vowel A on your board under the voiced side like this. Okay. All right, so let's go through the rest of the vowels. Let's see, let's look at vowel E. Let's see if it's voiced or voiceless. Eh. What is it? It's voiced. Add. Voice, add that to your list. All right, this time I want you to tell me. So put your hands on the front of your throat. We're going to do the sound for the vowel O, the, the short sound. Ready? Go. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Did you feel a vibration? I did. It's voice. Uh. Good. Ah. Uh. It's voice. Add that to your list. All right, let's do the vowel for the vowel sound for you. Go. Uh. Uh, it's voiced. Uh, uh, it is voiced. Add that to your list. All right, let's do the vowel sound for I. I, I, it's voiced. It is also I, voiced. I. Good, so we could um, see now that all of the vowels are what, Joanna? They're all voiced. They're all voiced sounds. All right, let's do some sounds for the consonants. Now, you already told me that B B was voiced. B Can you add that to your list? Yes. All right, let's see. Let's do the sound for the consonant G. G, G. What do you think? Voiced as well. G. All right, add that. All right, what about the consonant M? Mm, mm. It's also voiced. Voice, watch. Mm. Mm. See that vibration sign there? Okay. All right, let's do one more. Let's do the consonant V. Mm. Mm. Voice. It's voiced. Add that to your list. Good job. 
All right, so when we were learning the digraphs TH, remember that we learned that one is voiced and one is voiceless. So let's listen to the voiced TH. Listen. Mm. Mm. You do it. Mm. Mm. It's voiced. That. Ah. Okay. So I want you to write TH in your voiced side, on your voice side. All right, so let's look at some voiceless consonants. Now you already told me that P was voiceless, so I want you to watch what happens in the throat. You see this straight line? And do you see this air coming out of his mouth? Yes. So Yes, so when we use our mouth to make a sound, that's a voiceless. So I want you to write P on the voiceless side. Okay. So we're gonna do some other letters that um, are voiceless. I want you to make this sound for the letter F. Was it voiceless? Voiceless. No vibrations, and you can see that air is coming out of his mouth. All right, let's do S. Sound for S. It's voiceless. Good, add it to your list. All right, let's do the sound for T. Voiceless. It's voiceless. All right, let's look at some digraphs here. I want you to put your fingers on the front of your throat. Students, you should be doing this as well. I want you to make this sound for the digraph CH. Any vibration there, Joanna? None. No vibration, so I'm only using my mouth to make that sound. All right, let's do one more. Let's do the sound for the digraph SH. Ready? It's voiceless. It is voiceless, so add that to your list. Good job. So you see you have some letters that are voiced on your chart. You have some that are voiceless on your chart. You do not have to memorize these. It is not important that you memorize them, but I do want you to understand that some letters are voiced and some letters are voiceless. So let's look at this slide here. So here I can see that all my vowel sounds are voiced. Here are my consonants that are voiced and that TH can sometimes be voiced. Over here, here are my consonants that are voiceless and the digraphs that are voiceless, and there's that TH because remember, it can be both. All right, are you ready to learn something new today? Yes. Here we go. So in the last lessons, Joanne has been teaching you about suffixes and we talked in particular about the suffix ED. And ED means that it has happened in the past. But this lesson today, we're going to learn that ED actually makes three sounds. Did you know that, Joanna? No. No, ED can make three sounds. So let's look. The first sound of ED is a T sound. We say T for ED after the voiceless consonant, except for the letter T. So these letters are voiceless. The F, K, P, S, X. So if the, the base word ends with a voiceless letter, then the ED is going to sound like a T. Listen to me read these words. Huffed, blinked, mapped, dressed, mixed. Did you hear a T sound? I did. All right, so Joanna, I want you to read these words. And when you get to ED, I want you to make a T sound, okay? Okay. Right. Here we go. Puffed, blinked, mapped, dressed, mixed. Excellent job. And we heard t at the end because the base word ended with a voiceless sound. All right, so let's look at this. I've had students in this past to spell jumped this way. And I understand because that's the sound that they hear. But is this the correct way to spell jumped? No. No. If it's happened in the past, we know what suffix do we need for that? ED. 
ED. So if I jumped on the trampoline yesterday, I've already done it. So that would be in the past and I would have to have the ED suffix. And now that I know ED can say, then I won't make that mistake again, right? Right. Good. All right, so let's look at the second sound for ED. So the second sound for ED is the D sound. We say D for ED after all the voiced sounds except for the letter D. So B is voiced, G is voiced, L, M, N, and Z are voiced sounds. And we're gonna make a D sound at the end. Listen to me read these words. Grabbed, plugged, filled, trimmed, pinned, buzzed. Okay, your turn to read and I want you to make a D sound when you get to ED. Ready? Begin. Grabbed, plugged, filled, trimmed, pinned, buzzed. Excellent job and we heard D at the end, right? All right, so this is the third sound for ED. So we use this pronunciation when the word ends with a D or a T or a, or a like, because it's already making a D and it's already making a T. I can't use those sounds. So the third sound for ED is ID. Listen to me say it. Funded, spotted. Hey, your turn. I want you to say ID at the end of this word. Funded. Spotted. Excellent job. So the three sounds for ED are t, d, and id. Now it is your turn to practice. Are you ready to practice what we learned today? Ready. All right, so go ahead and erase your board if you haven't already from the review. You need a clean board to start dictation. I'm gonna dictate the word to you twice. I'm gonna say it two times. You're gonna say it back to me two times, and then you're gonna write it and prove it on your board. So today we're going to do the base word, and then we're gonna add ED to it. So you're gonna write that out to the side. All right, here is your first base word. Are you ready? Ready. All right, get your hands out ready to catch my word. The word is stop, stop. 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 You should always stop at a red light. Okay. All right, let me, I'm going to stop share. There we go. So we can see it good. There we go. So hold your board up, Joanna. And students, you check your board with Joanna's board today. All right, excellent job, Joanna. So out beside, Stop, we're going to add an ED to that. Okay, excellent job. So let's talk about a few things with this word. First of all, how did you know to add two P's? So if it's a phonetic skill one word with just one guardian, we have to double that last guardian before we can add our suffix ed. Very good. So that's a previous skill that we've been learning about. So phonetic skill one, we're going to double that guardian. Now today we learn that if the word ends with a voiceless letter, so point to the last letter in your base word, if it's voiceless, then the ed will sound like a what? Good. Can you read our new word, Joanna? Stopped stopped. She stopped at the red light. Excellent job. All right, let's do another one. Hands out ready to catch. The word is kiss, kiss. Kiss, kiss. I gave my daughter a kiss before she went to bed. Okay, students, get that on your board. Perfect. Check your board with Joanna. Excellent job. Okay, now out beside that, I want you to add the suffix ed. Okay, 
Okay, perfect. Can you read our new word, Joanna? Kissed. Kissed. What sound do you hear at the end? T. Can you explain to me why it is making a t sound? Because the last letter of the word kiss is voiceless. The F is voiceless, so the ending has to be voiceless too. Kiss. Excellent. Good. Good explanation. All right, next one. Is that ready to catch? The word is brag, brag. Brag, brag. It I is not it. nice to brag. Sorry, I dropped my board. Okay. Students, mark your word, stay on your road, and then you're gonna check your board with Joanna. Good job. Is this phonetic skill one or two? This is phonetic skill one. Here we go. So out next to that, I want you to write the word again and add the ed suffix. Great job. So phonetic skill one, she had to double her G. Now, Joanna, I want you to look at the last letter in brag mm -hmm. and decide is the G voiced or voiceless? It's voiced. G, G is voiced. So what did we learn? If we have a voiced letter at the end of our base word, what sound is ED gonna make? It's gonna make the D sound. So it would say bragged. Bragged. Very good. Great job. Okay, be ready to catch my word. You're doing a great job. Rub, rub. Rub, rub. I had to rub some medicine on my cut. Excellent. All right, so out next to that, I want you to add ED to that word. Good job. She remembered to double her consonant on phonetic skill one. Joanna, can you read our new word? Rubbed. Rubbed. I rubbed the medicine on my cut. And what sound does that make at the end? That ED? D. D. And that's because the B was a voiced consonant. Perfect. All right, here we go. Next one. The word is hand, hand. Hand, hand. Can you hand me a pencil? Excellent job. Is this phonetic skill one or two? This is phonetic skill two. Is we need to think about that. Think about that when we're adding our suffix CD. So out next to hand, I want you to add ED. Okay. Good. All right, Joanna, can you, will you look at the last letter in the base word hand? And what letter is it, first of all? Let's talk about that. D, and it's voice. Mm -hmm. So do you remember when the base word ends with a D, I can't make a D sound. So what sound are we going to make? Do you remember? Hand is. Yeah, good. So the word is handed. handed. She handed me a pencil. All right, last one. The word is. Trust, trust. Trust, trust. Um, you have to trust me that I'm telling the truth. Okay. Great students. Good. Turn and talk to your neighbor and tell them how did you prove this word? I'm gonna give you a second. Could be your parent, your brother, your dog, whoever's next to you, turn and talk. And then Joanna is going to talk to me. Tell me how you proved this word, Joanna. Okay. Moving left to right under the word, the first thing I came to was an R blend. So I arched my R blend 
And then I marked my vowel U, I had an S blend at the end, so I arced it. Going up and around, I have two guardians, so I have two guardian stars, which prove the vowel to be short. Trust. Perfect. Good. All right, out next to that, I want you to add the suffix ED. Okay. Excellent job. So the word trust ends with what letter? T. It ends with a T. So I'm going to make that id sound at the end. Joanna, can you read that new word? Trusted. Trusted. Excellent. She trusted me to hold her money. Trusted. Great job. Okay, so we're going to play the eraser game, but we're going to do something different today that we haven't done before. So get your eraser, put your top on your marker. You don't need your marker any longer. And today we are going to erase the words in alphabetical order. So I want you to point to the word that would come first in the alphabet. Okay. Read that two times, Joanna. Brag. Brag. Perfect. So erase brag, and then I want you to also erase bragged. Okay. okay. What will come next in the alphabet? Read it two times. Hand, hand. Good. B, then H. Good. Erase hand, and also erase handed. Okay. All right, we're moving through the alphabet after the letter H. We're looking for what would come next in the alphabet. Point to it. Okay. Read it kiss. two times. Kiss, kiss. Yes, kiss. Erase kiss and erase kissed. Okay. All right, point to the word that would come next in the alphabet. Rub, rub. Good. So erase rub and erase rubbed. Moving in ABC order, which word would come next? Point to it. Okay. Read it times. Stop, stop. Perfect. Erase stop and erase stopped. Which word is left on your board? Trust. Would that come last out of all of these? T yeah. would be the last letter. So erase, read it two times. Trust, trust. All right. And then also erase trusted. Trusted. Got it. Great job. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen again because it is time for us to transfer what we learned today. So we're going to take those skills and we're actually going to read some words today. All right, so if you remember, the three sounds of ED were t, d, and id. So let's start with T because that's the order that we learned them. Joanna, you're going to read these words for me and don't forget to make a T sound at the end. If my last letter of my base word is voiceless, the ending also has to be voiceless, which is going to be the T sound. All right, Joanna, are you ready to read? I'm ready. Here we go. Tapped. Stop. Trapped. Perfect. So let's move to the second sound of ED that we learned today, the D sound. If the last letter in my base word is voiced, my ending also has to be voiced. So you're going to make a D sound when you see ED. Begin. Called. Jammed. Slimmed. Talk about the word slimmed. If the man slimmed down after his diet, what does that mean, do you think? He lost weight. He lost weight. He, he slimmed skinny. down. He got skinny. Good. Slimmed. The third sound for ED was id. If the word already ends with a t or d, I can't make that sound. I have to say id. I want you to say id at the end. Go. Plant id. Spot id, land id. Perfect. The plane landed on the runway. All but, right, so now you're going to have. Do we want to do the T? The ones with T too? We did them. We did? 
Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. You did him. You did great, Joanna. It's been a long day. Okay. All right. So now we're going to read these at the end and at the bottom here, and you're going to have to make your own decision. Is it going to say d t or id? All right. So let's read this one. Fixed. Fixed. Okay. It made a t sound. Um, can you explain to me why it's making a t sound, Joanna? Because the last letter of the base word is voiceless. So the ending will also be voiceless. Yes. X is voiceless. So the ending will be voiceless. Good. All right. Let's do this one. Go. Plugged. Plugged. What sound do you hear at the end? D. Can you explain why it's a d sound? Right, because the G is voiced, so the ending needs to be voiceless, so it will be the d sound. Perfect. All right, let's do this word. Add id. Add id. What sound do you hear at the end? The id sound. Id. And why is it saying the id sound? Because the last letter ends in D. The last letter of the base word, add, ends in a D, so we have to say id. Good. Here we go. Next one. End id. Good. Missed. Good. Hummed. Perfect. All right, so let's read our sentences. When I point, you read. Are you ready? Yes. Here we go. He called a man who fixed the plugged sink. Good job. Let's read it a little bit faster. Here we go. He called a man who fixed the plugged sink. What is a plugged sink? Probably means it has a lot of stuff trapped in it. It's stopped up. It's plugged up. So who would you call? He called a man. What kind of, um, what kind of job do you think that is? A plumber. Plumber. So when your sink is clogged up, you call a man who is also called a plumber. Very good. All right, let's read our last sentence. The path stopped by the twisted log. Okay, what stopped by the twisted log? The path. The path. And where did the path stop? By the twisted log. By the twisted log. Let's read it one more time a little bit faster. Go. The path stopped by the twisted log. Great job, Joanna. All right. So, if you need a little more practice, you can find this um, where you signed in to the webinar today. There's a little bit uh, resource tab there for you to get some extra resources. There's also more transfer cards there for you to practice reading to someone at your home. You need to be read, read, reading every single day. Make sure that um, someone's listening to you read it so that they can help you if you are struggling with any words. If you want to take a picture of this and then you can just do it on your own paper, that will be fine as well. We would also love for you to be able to get into the software. That feature that I showed you today with the vocabulary tool, it's in the vocabulary section and you can see voice and voiceless, but we would love for you to be able to get in and do the lesson, the three, the three sounds of ED. If you are not able to get into the software, you can call this number and we will help you to get signed in or contact your teacher, maybe for your login information. Keep reading students, we're excited to help you get through chapter three, and we will see you back here next time. Thank you.